Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Messina, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Welcome to fourth through fifth grade art class, especially through our new learning format using lots of technology and especially Google Classroom. Now, before we get into learning about all the different websites that everyone will be doing both in person and remote, let's talk about my expectations. So boys and girls, Every couple weeks, we will be starting a brand new project. With my projects, we will usually take four to five class periods. It depends on what the project is. Now, boys and girls, all my classes will be on Zoom, but just in case if you are absent or if you miss a class, all you have to do is check out the Art Google Classroom and also your art e-learning page. So again, if you miss a live Zoom class, or maybe you need a restart, there will always be drawing tutorials of the project that you are learning. So boys and girls, my expectations are be here and be ready, and also be responsible, okay? Especially too, I would rather have you tell me right away that you lost your project than just sit there throughout the whole entire class, okay? Now, like I said, usually our projects take about four to five classes. I will keep on giving students reminders of what the exact due date is. Now, if you do forget to do turn in a project, I will be emailing home. But just letting you know, your art projects are very important because if you're getting an A in the class and if you are missing an art assignment, that could drop down to a C. So please make sure that you are turning in your projects on time. Also, before we begin our art classes, please make sure that you have white paper. It's best if you have a special sketchbook for your artwork. I want it to be eight by 10. Make sure that you have crayons, markers, and either a black marker or a Sharpie for tracing. All right, so let's look at some of the websites that we will be very focused on. So number one is our Google Art Classroom. So this is what one of the classes looks like. Over here will be any of the announcements and any of their classwork. Now, with our classwork, this is what our usual activity is going to look like. First, there will be the title. There will be a section where it says overview of assignment, artist biography with questions. Then, if you scroll down, it will give you a detailed description of the art project, a tutorial video, just in case if you miss the art class, and how to turn in your work. Now let's scroll up to where we see overview of assignment. Now, again, all of this is definitely great if you are misunderstanding the project and also if you missed the day that we start the project. So the overview of the assignment, if you click on the link, it should send you to a YouTube link. The overview link gives you a detailed video of what my expectations are for the project. Not only will it be showing the class example, but it will also talk about some key points. For example, we have our primary colors and our lines and tangles, as well as the artists. Again, these videos are very helpful because it tells you what the objective is for the project, as well as the lesson example. Now, with the artist's biography that is below, this, these questions are optional, so they are not due, but it is very helpful to look at the video and answer the questions inside your mind just so you could have extra knowledge of the artist. Finally, as you reach towards the bottom of the art project, of the art post, it will give you the project title as well as what the requirements to making a successful project. For each project, there will also be a video tutorial, just in case you need extra help, but also if you missed the live Zoom art class or if you lost your art project. 
It will also give you a detailed description of how you turn in your work. All right, so let's get to lo looking at our art e-learning website. Now, again, the art e-learning e website is just an extra resource if you do end up losing your project or if you didn't attend the art live Zoom class. Not only will it show the art projects, but it also gives you extra activities and contact information for your art teacher. Now, there are many ways of turning in artwork. Now, I have two ways for you to turn in artwork because again, sometimes technology does not work. You could turn in your artwork by emailing me. I also have you turn in your artwork through your art Google Classroom. So how you would turn in your art through Art Google Classroom, you would first go to your post. You would go to your, you would go to your actual post and you would take a picture of your artwork and upload it to your Google Classroom. That is our number one way of turning in work. After when you turn that in, you're gonna go back to your post and let me find our right class. All right, there we go. So again, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of your post, you're going to click artsonia.com. After that, you're going to copy the code and add that to the portal. Now, for my fourth and fifth graders that have had me in the past, they have already had some type of knowledge of how to upload their work onto Artsonia. What's really nice about Artsonia is that it's a collection of all your child's artwork. Another reason why I want the students to upload their artwork to Artsonia because with Google Classroom at times, you end up having a post that says it's turned in, but you don't see the artwork. So again, this is a backup for just in case if that happens. So first, you are going to, after you upload your code, you're going to find your grade. I usually click all students just in case. You're going to type in your name. Then after that, you are going to see all of the artworks that you did in the past. There will be a specific title of the artwork that will be on your post. And then you will just simply take a picture of your artwork and follow the steps. There is also going to be another detailed video of how to upload your artwork onto Artsonia. All right, so I hope this gives you a great idea of what my expectations are for the project. One thing I want to make clear is that make sure you turn in your artwork on time. But again, please double check if you did forget to go on the live Zoom class, there's always a video of what to do for the project. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing your artwork. Thank you.